Hi, I'm Sandrine Blake, Manager of Member Events and Experience here at Amidacare. Thank you for joining us for today's online Live Your Life Wellness session. Today's session is sponsored by Amidacare, a Medicaid health plan designed to provide care for those living with or at elevated risk of HIV. At Amidacare, we believe that staying healthy is much more than just doctor's visits and medication. We believe in the whole person, mind, body, and spiritual wellness. We also look at aspects of life such as healthy food and housing. Stay tuned for more information on how you can contact us at Amidacare. Thank you. Enjoy. everyone and welcome to today's demonstration about how to create a healthy ice cream so I know that this is the beginning of fall but you can eat ice cream all year round and so I'm going to show you how to make a delicious healthy ice cream with no dairy and no sugar that's right no dairy no sugar and it will still taste good see it so the first thing I want to do is talk about the ingredients. So the first ingredient that I want to talk about are strawberries. So what I did was I cut up some strawberries and I froze them. These are 12 ounces of strawberries. And the first thing that I'm going to do is put them into a food processor. So that's the other thing. What you're gonna need for this is a food processor, a spatula, a measuring spoon. And that's the, all the equipment that you're gonna need. And you're gonna need coconut milk, strawberries, a sweetener. I'm gonna talk about three different sweeteners. This one is liquid stevia, xylitol, or monk food, we're gonna talk about that later, and vanilla extract. So those are all the ingredients that you need, and we're gonna get started. So, back to the strawberries. I froze these strawberries. This is about 12 ounces of strawberries. And the good thing about strawberries is that they're a great antioxidant. They're low in sugar, so they have what's called a low GI. So there's something called the glycemic index, and that rates how a food interacts with your blood sugar levels. So strawberries are one of the fruit, any berry, it has a low GI, so it will not affect your blood sugar levels. So you get sweetness, but you don't get the calories or the blood sugar spikes. So it's a great fruit. So in addition to that, it's full of vitamin C and antioxidants. And antioxidants are so important now because we're in this COVID season, and we have to keep our immune system healthy. So... Anything that's gonna boost your immune system is something that you should use. So these are really considered a superfood, any of the berries. So I like this. This also has magnesium, folate, and vitamin B. So great. So we have our strawberries in the food processor. Okay, next ingredient I wanna to talk to you about is coconut milk. So make sure that your coconut milk is chilled before using. So. Coconut milk, I got this from Trader Joe's. Um, this is organic coconut milk, but it was less than $2. So this is something that's great and it could be used as a staple. So some people like to use this in replace of cow's milk if they have any type of lactose intolerant. Um, and it's just as creamy and it has that delicious coconut benefit. But it also helps improve digestion, helps relieve constipation, um, and it has healthy fats in it. So that's good for your heart health. So lowers your blood pressure. It's, it's great. So a lot of people, so if you haven't tried this, try having some fresh coconut milk. So now, how much are we going to add? We're going to add, I'm going to start slow. I'm going to start with a half a cup. Okay. And then if I need more, I'm going to add more. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw this in here. All right, so we have coconut milk, strawberries. The next ingredient that I wanna to talk to you about is vanilla extract. Now, a lot of times when people think of vanilla extract, they just think of baking, but vanilla has a lot of great properties. So vanilla is actually an antioxidant, just like the berries. So this is also something that can help 
build your immune system. So a lot of people don't know that. So it's also good for the skin. So this vanilla extract that I got is alcohol free, but you can use a version with alcohol. All right. So I'm going to just use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and add that. All right. And that's it, folks. Now I'm going to have my milk by close to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to pulse this. And then we're going to talk about the sweeteners. All right. Sometimes when I pulse this. All right. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little sloppy. All right. Uh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to check on it. Okay. That's looking good. I'm going to turn it for a little bit more. check on it. So you want to blend this till it's a smooth consistency and we're going to show you what it looks like. Let me take my towel. Okay. So if you can see, it's a nice creamy consistency. Can you see that? Okay. And this is when you do the taste test. I'm going to taste a little bit. Okay, so needs a little sugar. So what sugar am I gonna add? So what you can do, you have three choices. Now I provided the recipe and on the recipe I have two choices, but I'm gonna tell you about the third. So stevia, and I use liquid stevia in, in desserts and smoothies because it blends more easier. But liquid stevia, liquid stevia, stevia comes from a plant. So it has no known side effects. It has zero calories, so it's a very safe sweetener. However, some people don't like it. They say it has an aftertaste. But if you try it and you like it, it's a wonderful substitute for white table sugar, okay? So you have that. And I want to introduce you, if you haven't already heard, of something called monk fruit. So I got this on Amazon, it's all natural monk fruit. Some of the monk fruit they mix with something called erythritol, uh, but this one is the pure version. Monk fruit is also a great alternative to sugar. It's uh, the monk fruit plant, it's grown in Asia. So you can't really find it here. You may find it in an Asian um, farm, you know, fruit market or stand, but um, Typically, it's hard to find, but you can find the extract, the powder version, online. So, I like this because this has zero calories. I think it has less of an aspartate than stevia, but, you know, you be the judge. So, I'm just going to put my measuring. It comes with a little measuring. You, you got to sweeten to taste. So, I tasted it first. A lot of people sweeten and then taste later. So I want you to get into the habit of tasting first. Anything that you have that you have that requires seasoning, taste the food first. You know, I cook for my husband and all, he's already reaching for the salt. And I'm like, but you didn't taste it. All right, so I want you all to get into the habit of tasting first. So I taste it. It needs a little help. So here I'm going to put just a little... All right, and now I'm going to blend again. So, and then I'm going to tell you about the third sugar substitute. All right. So, move this out the way. Okay. Is it making a mess? All right.
Okay, let's see. Let me show you the consistency. So, can you see that on the screen? Okay, now I'm gonna taste again. It's good. I like it. So, you can serve this as is, or you can freeze it. It's my freezer bag. And it comes out looking just like ice cream. I'm going to move closer so you can see. It comes out when you freeze it, at least two hours. It comes out looking just like ice cream. You actually need like the little scoop that you dip in hot water because I think this is really a little, I took it out. Okay, no, 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 I got some, I got some. Mmm, tastes really good when you freeze it. Tastes just like ice cream. All right, so, so this is it. This is my, my strawberry ice cream. Wasn't that simple? I want to tell you about one more sweetener. This is called burnt sugar. It's also, another name for it is xylitol, and that's spelled with an X, X-Y-L-I-T-O-L. -L. So this has one-third the calorie of sugar, this is safe for diabetics. It does not spike blood sugar levels um, and one third the calories. So whereas stevia and the monk food have no calories, this does is caloric. It has one third the calories of table sugar. So, but this doesn't have an aftertaste. Most people like this. However, this is a sugar alcohol. So you gotta be careful. You can't have that much of it because it may send you to the bathroom. So I wouldn't, use it like for baking. I wouldn't put a cup to make a cake too much, but you can use it in a recipe like this and there's no aftertaste. Most people like it. So, um, but again, I want you to do your homework. So I presented three things. I want you not only to read about it, but also try it for yourself and see which one you like best. And you know, one man's meat is another man's poison. So figure out for yourself which works best. Um, and also, anything that I tell you, don't necessarily take my word for it, although it's, I believe it to be true. I want you to do your own research and be your own health advocate. But, so, that's what I wanted to share with you today. A healthy ice cream, no dairy, no sugar, delicious. And I hope you enjoy. Let me know. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was very good. Now... Let me ask you one thing. It, let's say if you want to try something, uh, let, let's say if you don't like strawberries, yeah. or you like mango, mm -hmm. can you do something along the lines of that with like mango or something? You know, I haven't tried a mango ice cream yet, but I can look into it. Mostly I know bananas work and strawberries work. I, I don't know about the other foods. Now I did make a cantaloupe sorbet, mm. but the can can make cantaloupe ice cream. It doesn't have the thick consistency, but um, but I'm gonna experiment, Alex. Thank you for the time. <laughs> I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna let you know. So, but any other questions? Well, I guess uh, you could add um, maybe bananas to the strawberry one. Yes, you could definitely add yeah. bananas because those frozen. Um, they're going to give you the same consistency. Yeah. So you could definitely have banana, strawberry, ice cream. Yeah. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to try that. Yeah. One. And that will probably take out the need to have any sweetener at all. So the banana yeah. should really provide enough sugar. So try those two together. It's really, and the coconut milk is a great addition. Now I only use half a cup. Okay. So, um, the, the recipe calls for half a cup to a cup. So it depends on the level of thickness and consistency that you like. So if it comes up, if it comes out too watery, is there something you can do to fix it? I would add uh, more frozen strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. And it should come out creamier. Yeah. So yeah, the, the consistency, yeah, it's pretty thick. You can see. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So yeah. About that about, is probably like a serving to like, like this. So it's pretty thick. Oh, yum. That looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> so that could probably be for what? About two or three people? Depending on how hungry the people are, yeah. <laughs> Depending on the crowd, yeah. <laughs> Somebody might want to just take that and go on the couch and be like, yum. <laughs> yes, yes. 
yeah. why is that for yourself? I know people like that. Yeah, yeah. At least, it, at least it's it's not as guilty as um you know, uh the real deal ice cream would be. Right, right. So. Well, thank you very much, Carrie. We appreciate you, and um, thank you for uh, showing us this great way to keep healthy this fall with this quick little treat. Um, it was very quick. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try this out myself. Okay. And ho hopefully our members will be able to try it out as well. Okay. And um, thank you. Okay, thank you for having me. Bye, Amita Care family, take good thank care. You.